In a short time, the computer has become a glamorous star. With computer animation, it is possible, with lighting speed, to create a range of colors, shapes, and movement which never existed before. Robbie Roncarelli, editor of Pixel magazine from Toronto, explains the elements of computer animation. Today we have this tremendous wealth of creative knowledge and background that is being directed into what we call computer animation, computer graphics that move. Uh, where is it going? Well, it's going. It, it's growing. It's growing tremendously. It's growing at the top end and it's growing at the bottom end. And the reason it's growing is because it is a means of communication. I can sit down and I can write and I can punch buttons on a keyboard on a computer and I can make things happen. A computer picture is made up of minute electronic impulses of light energy called pixels. Each image contains several hundred million calculations for each second of running time. Here is a highly magnified impression of them. Several million instructions have to be issued for every second for each picture. Color, shading, and intensity have to be modified as well. Every one of these tiny picture areas has a numerical value which is defined with absolute precision. The process consumes an enormous quantity of computer time. One minute of film can involve as many as 100 billion calculations. It's not cheap. How is it done? At the laboratories of the Institut National de Communication L'Audiovisuel, INA for short, in Paris, Daniel Bornstein is making a short computer animated film. He looks calm but he is probably accustomed to the speed at which his electronic instruments work and the complexity of the tasks they do. He draws his picture with an electronic pen called a cursor on an electronic drawing board. He then feeds pre-planned instructions into the computer which stores them in its memory. And he checks what he has just drawn on the visual display unit in line test form. Charles Orcade, who is technical director of INA, adds color to the line test. And explains what goes on in INA's computer laboratory. My name is uh, Jean-Charles Orcade and I'm working at, uh, in the Computer Graphics Laboratory of INA, which is a French institute for audiovisual communication. Our goal is here to make uh, two-dimensional and three-dimensional computer-generated pictures with a double activity. Uh, first activity is research and development in uh, computer science applied to um, uh, computer pictures. And the second activity is production of sequences for industrial films, for advertising, for television opening sequences, and for experimental films. These images come from recent experiments in computer graphics done at INA. Alan Kitching, the inventor and designer of the Antic system, which is a far simpler method of generating images, explains. 
Here we have the Stone Age version of our Antics do-it-yourself animation machine. Basically, it is just a new technique for making animation. Very briefly, it works like this. You have a drawing board with a special magnetic pen. You can draw with this much like an ordinary pen, except as you draw, the picture simultaneously appears on the screen, and it's also stored in the computer's memory. One screen shows the picture as black and white outlines only. We call this the line test screen. The other screen shows the full color painted picture. We call this the paint screen. Once the pictures are stored in the machine, you then have almost infinite possibilities for playing around with them and making them move. Computer animation has reached a point where we can use it to tell stories. The first digitized European computer film was Dilemma. It was directed by John Hallis, designed by Janos Kosh, and processed in the United States by Computer Creations. If traditional techniques had been used, more than 20,000 drawings would have been needed for Dilemma. With the computer program to fill in the gaps to link and animate each master drawing, a mere 200 drawings were used, and so the film was completed in a fraction of the usual time. Oh, my God. 